welcome back to my backyard garden. I have been just cleaning a lot of spaces out this week. I just do a little bit every day. I don't try to come and get it all done in one day. Every day I'll pick a section and I'll get it cleaned out for winter. All I have to do uh, when I get everything clean out is put a ground cover over them. I have been chopping up grass clippings and a lot of different things and I will be putting that over for um, ground cover because I think it's a little too late to be planting um, the buckwheat but uh, it seemed to work on that one bed but this is what I wanted to show you now I don't know what kind of squash this is it has cross pollinated with something else I planted spaghetti squash seeds there and this is what they came out looking like also now this here one is not as large but some of them came out like this totally different so this kind of reminds me of a zucchini and I'm wondering could those seeds have cross pollinated last year but I didn't have them close to each other so I really don't know I mean now this kind of reminds me because it has little bumps on it of the crook neck. I've never planted crook neck squash so I don't really know what these are but I've cooked one and I like it for a soup base but it's not real sweet so this is what I'm mostly using it for is my uh, when I make soup I just put it in as a base. Now some of it I have sweetened up and, and just steamed it and eaten it and it was okay but um, I am not saving any of these seeds <laughs> because I'm hoping this won't happen and I will make sure that I plant my squash far enough away from each other where they won't be cross pollinating but I think next year I um these little squash here I like so I will be replanting these uh, this was my first time planting them I cooked one um, it's really hard to describe the flavor now if I remember right on the package it said a sweet squash but they're not real sweet but the flavor that they have I really really like them I mean you could always put a little sweetener in it but I'm trying to get away from eating a lot of sweet things but uh, I really like this squash so that's all that has been going on this week just trying to harvest everything that's coming in I'm not getting a lot now but whatever is coming in, I'm harvesting it. I'm putting it up for the winter. This was my harvest for the day. Every day I just harvest a little. That fig tree that I planted in the ground is doing quite well. These figs are delicious. I've worked that in, cleared it out. Next is to go down a little further. Every day I just do a little bit more. So I'm almost finished with this here get over a little further I'm almost finished with this front section I'm gonna leave it a few more days but if you can see down there I did those two sections there well the bugs got to my kill hopefully I'll get some I planted some in the greenhouse I'm hoping I'll get that yes you know I've been talking to quite a few people and I'm really concerned that a lot of people are not taking serious the conditions of things that's going on and one thing that I am focused on is the food because if you're not getting the proper food you are not going to be healthy and at this day and age is so important to keep your health going. Growing a garden is something that I do that help keep me healthy because it's great exercise and I eat out my garden as much as I can. This is Lady P from my backyard garden. Until next time, peace and love. I'm out.